Majority of you are finding trouble proofreading your documents. That doesn't have to be the case. In this video, you learn how to proofread your documents for free using a tool called Grammarly. Grammatical and syntax mistakes may be hiding inside the paragraphs of your document and will only show up once you turn your paper in to your lecturer or to your boss. This may cause you a lot of shame. Luckily, in this video, you learn how to prevent that from happening by simply using Grammarly. By the end of this video, you'll be able to detect all grammatical errors and eliminate them. My name is Vince and this is Actionable User, whereby we share with you tech tips and tricks. Without taking much of your time, let's dive into this video and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm on Grammarly's website and this is how it looks. We can see that it can be used for a couple of purposes like for work, whereby you can do all this for education, for students and institutions and other things so let's first of all begin by comparing plans so that you can know what you're getting in simple terms for free you're getting basic writing suggestions and tone detection for premium you're getting everything that is in the free version plus full sentence rewrites vocabulary ideas and all this then the business one is just like the premium one but uh, getting things like collaboration between teams and more of this so you can just go click there and you can go through all this and see all the feature comparisons okay you can see this is the free the premium and the business you can go through them at your free time and check what you're getting so for today we shall be reviewing the free version so go ahead and log in if you have an account and if you don't have you can just sign up so I'll click on login if you don't have an account just click I don't have an account then you'll be directed to where you need to add your email so let me populate this with my email and we'll continue yeah so currently I'm signed in you can see here there is my Grammarly so I can click on it now we are inside and this is how the interface looks like let's begin by adding a document and start formatting it so there are various ways that you can add that so you can click on the word new or actually upload so let me show you the first method by clicking on new after that this empty untitled document is open then it tells us to type in or copy and paste here yeah so i'll copy all of this but if i paste it here you'll see that there will be a lot of underlined words once i paste it inside here you see that I'm given this dialog box to set my goals whereby I can choose the level of understanding by the audience whereby I can choose general knowledge, knowledgeable or expert whereby I'm going to choose expert then I'll go to the domain whereby I'll retain it at general and the purpose of this is it to inform, to describe, to convince or to tell a story so actually I'm going to just describe then I can restore defaults here by clicking or I can just click on done and my goals have been set now it has begun underlining all the words that have mistakes like this Photoshop it has detected that it should be one word so if I click on this it will be corrected and here I can undo then if I don't want it to be corrected I can just click on this dismiss this trash can here then it will not be underlined but for now I'll just undo it by clicking on Control Z it has underlined the second word graphics which motion graphics should have a capital G so I'll click on that Grammarly has detected that there should be an S after the word business so the word business does not seem to fit this context so consider replacing it with a different one so you can choose to dismiss this or actually clicking on it and it will add the s after the apostrophe then i'll go ahead to the next one amazing and incredible may be redundant so i need to eliminate some words like amazing and so i'll click on incredible and it has eliminated the amazing and and i'm only remaining with incredible and it has moved on to the next one.
but if I want to do that, I can just control Z and then do. Also remember, as you progress, you can come here to this menu. After opening the menu, I can scroll down and there is the language preference whereby if I have on it, I can choose the language that you want, whether American or now you can change here and select another one and it will guide you from there. So there is somehow redundant so I'm going to remove it by just clicking there and should have a comma here so I'll click on and then under is an incorrect proposition here so I'll click on and it's calculating my score and it's telling me 99% overall score performance given the earlier settings that I done so I'm through with that so I can simply just copy this then I'll go to my Microsoft Word then I'll paste it in now if you want to use this document instead of copying and pasting you can go to this menu and there are a couple of more options like download it so you can download it as a docx so I'll click on that then here is my document being downloaded let's open it so here it is another way is by clicking on print whereby there is a shortcut control p so i'll click on this print i can choose to print to pdf and this is how the pdf will be or i can just save as a pdf then if i click on save it will be saved and I'll be able to download it and save it here. Then I can go and click on this. Then I can go back to the Grammarly dashboard. Yeah, then I can see the document I've created here it is. I can choose to delete it or I can choose to download it from here. I can also see more information like other suggestions remaining. There we go viewers. That is how you can easily eliminate grammatical errors for free using Grammarly. If you'd like to know how to generate citations and references for free, check the video linked in the description box below. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, leave me a comment on what other video you'd like to see me make, share this with your friends, and guys, I'll see you on another video. Bye.